Hey everyone, Lensman Oz here, and welcome to another First Look game. This time it's a game called The Hive, or Hive. It, it's it's a strange... It, I believe it's The Hive. Um, it's done by Skydome Entertainment, developed and published by them. And it was first released back in August 2016. Um, I was... I've, I've been given a key from the developers to you know, help you guys get a look at the game. Uh, it's a strategy game, uh, a real-time strategy type setup, uh, which you'll see in just a minute. Uh, it, it's got a, a good feel to it. I've, I've played through the first level, which I'm about to replay with you guys again. But uh, it's currently going for about $20 Australian on Steam. And as always, there's links down below to help you get to there. Uh, we're currently running 1.108, which was last updated on the 13th of July. Um, I'm going to hit new game. Um, just going to whack it in normal mode. Now, we thought we wielded the power of the gods. We thought we were immortal. We were wrong. First came the reign of fire, and it was only the harbinger of a greater threat. Our technology was useless. For the first time in history, the Earth was united for a common goal, for survival. The construction of a massive colony ship began, the only hope for our future. Sacrifices were unavoidable. Only the sharpest and strongest of people could be chosen for the journey. The task took no less than three years, yet the inevitable impact was already near. In 2178, the world ended. We could only watch as billions of lives vanished in the blink of an eye. The earth was swallowed in flames. The search for a new home began. A search that would take a human lifetime. Most of the people were preserved in cryogenic sleep to wait for our new reign. But finally our long journey came to an end. We arrived at the edge of a suitable solar system. Within it, we found the new Eden. The weather was harsh, and sandstorms raged on the planet's surface, allowing only the survival of the strongest of species. But deep underground, sleeping in the city of ancients, there were fountains teeming with new life. And there, a new species awoken to explore the unknown world. All right, so I'm still yet to see how the human thing ties in with it, but I'm guessing the idea is that uh, the humans are landing on the surface of the planet, and as it said there, deep below we have the hive, or uh, the logo just says hive, so that's why I'm getting yeah, a little bit out there. Um, but yeah, we start off as a spidery, arachne-looking creature. Okay, let me just... Okay. <laughs> there was volume there before. Let me make sure our... I did turn this down because I was getting... Um, it was really loud in my ear. Pretty sure that had speech, but it's alright. So we got our little arachnid-looking thing. Alright. Okay, there is speech there and I don't know why it's not being picked up properly. Now as I've said before, I play normally with one headphone in, so hopefully that's not the problem. Let's whack that one up. Drop this down. So that's now really loud in my ears, but we'll see what happens. That's okay, so it. This guy needs to build a hive. So we've got build. And we can build a hive. We require food to thrive. 
flesh of these creatures will satisfy our hunger. Okay. So, we now need to get this guy to go and get some food because everything to build anything requires food and um, you have a, a limit of, of um, like a, a, a population cap if that makes sense um, these little things here are automatic you don't need to, need to do anything with them but as this guy harvests the dead turtle um, we obviously get 250 food from him and this little guy will sit there and consistently harvest that. Now, I found that we need a fair few workers, but not an exorbitant amount, uh, because we will need um, things later on. So let's build a couple of workers. Uh, you don't want to overpopulate your cap with workers, I've found, because we will need military units. Got another guy here. Um, he can... Let's get him getting more food as well. So you can go and get this guy. And we can actually spawn two more because we had the food for it. Let's get them going. There is materials here. There's metals, minerals, whatever you want to call it. And then we've got this chest. As it says, we need an army. Uh, now, obviously, to build certain buildings, like the barracks needs minerals. So we've got 100 minerals. It's going to cost us 100 minerals. Uh, we'll build the barracks. Now, another thing I haven't worked out yet. He just picked up some sort of material, like a, 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 a bit of loot, but I don't see how the loot's used yet. Thank you, Windows, for... Uh, Making noises at me. Um. I'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, back to it. So, this guy has finished building the barracks. I'm now going to send him off to get more food because we are going to need food more than anything else so I'm gonna get a, a bunch of workers running I'm gonna get all of these you've also got these little fishing pools here so this will give you 500 food um, so I'm gonna get most of these nearby ones I'm gonna have two doing materials and like four doing food because I know just from experience that I'm gonna need that from having played the level before. Alright, so we've got all this food going. We've got a few more turtles around. And then we've got this fishing spot. So we've got two turtles. Why over there called turtles? They don't really look like turtles, but it's cool. And it's a fairly large area. We do have to do a bit of fighting soon. Okay. Materials coming in. The sound effects are a bit out there. Nom nom. But yeah, we've got these two fishing spots. Alright, so the quest at the moment is to make two legionnaire squads. So, it's just these ones. I'm going to move its... It's very, very standard RTS controls. Um, so, if, you, if you're on a building, you can right-click and set the area where they will, uh, you know, walk to when they're when they're built or when they're crafted. Um, so we've got this one here, so the quest is to make two of them. I'm going to make two of these as well, because I've found that these range units are pretty decent. And you can see here, the melee units take up five of your um, population limit. And I'm sitting at 22 out of 25, so I am going to need at least one more of these guys. These only take up one. I'm going to build one of these guys, and we're going to build some... Um, couple of the buildings that allow us to have more workers. Alright, so 
see it. Light the torches. So yeah, our quest is now to light the two torches on the post there. Um, but I want to get a few more than just two squads because I found that they aren't quite enough. Our build. We're going to build a couple of burrows. Now these other things we can't do much with except these turrets. They, they are quite handy. Uh, so we're going to build a burrow there. I'm going to build two turrets over here. Maybe. Maybe. That's that's a bit of a, a diff, you know. I'm not sure about that. I'm just... We'll see how we go. This guy's going to build... Let's get... I can't build anymore. <clears throat> Because we are at population limit. If I try to, it will. Population cap reached. It'll tell me that population cap's reached. So, as I said, I'm going to build um, just another one of these guys down here. Build four more of them. Using up the food that we've been collecting, but we're still alright. These guys are happily chomping away. It's probably our earliest one. He still has 44 to go. Alright, my builder friend. Let's go and... Uh, go and do some fishing. Cool. I'll let these last two units come in. Actually... I do want one more build, one more worker, and he's going to go with these people, or with these creatures. Um, let's rotate our viewpoint a little. It's just a holding down your middle mouse button and rotating. As I said, very, very standard uh, RTS sort of controls. You've got one to go. <clears throat> okay, we are in business. Let's take this group, and we're going over here. Got our little guy here waiting for us. And my worker is just going to hang back. Uh, actually, let's, you stand over there for the moment. These guys. Attack. You. Light the torch. You can see all one of the ranged guys. They do a fair bit of... Not heaps of damage, but a fair bit of damage. And we beat him quite easily there. <clears throat> I don't think two two legionnaire teams is enough. And this is a reason I brought the worker over, because we've got a chest here we can open. Let's get our work our worker dude. Can you go and open this chest, please? We'll get to this in a second. He'll collect these two items. Which Min min minerals, one mineral, and then we're going to get stuff in the chest. We've got some leather, and then collect this up. Cool. So, bring him back down here. Then, let's take our entire army, head back here. Food's going well, minerals are going well. We've got almost halfway through this one we can build a few more of these cool. lots of um, troops required for this next piece okay you finished eating that turtle well harvesting that turtle you can deal with that one you finished here you can deal here Okay, <clears throat> you. We're probably waiting for the one last legionnaire. Yeah, let's go two more. <laughs> I know, it, I'm, I'm probably overcompensating for what's on the other side of the door, but um, I want to be able to get in and get this through not, not quickly but um, without too much hassle 
I'm gonna move this to here now. We've got our one worker, he can come with us. He, he can just hang back though. He hang back over here. He's gonna open the door for us. Maybe. I might not even need him to open the door, I might just be able to... Yeah, I can. Just right click that without a person. Without a troop. So we can see we've got enemies coming. Protectors of the long dead temple cities. Once rulers of the underworld. Now just a whisper in the wind. And their eternal watch. We have other uses for them. Alright. So let's take our army. And go and pay them a visit. We'll go for one person. I've um, found it is a little better to actually direct their fire. Um, otherwise they all just don't seem to get too far. And you can just all attack them, that's fine. Because if I just let them go, they they all willy-nilly attack, uh, attack and you don't get the, the destructive power, I don't feel. And as much as these guys are attacking and taking them out, it's better to just get in and, and nail the one character. You see, he's, he's doing a fair bit of damage, this guy. Now I have to admit, I didn't have this much trouble with the volumes um, the first time I played it, so I'm not sure what's happened in between. But look, we did lose a lot of um, did lose a lot of our of our people there. So I'm not sure if we can like heal up completely. Whether we get all our we do. Look at that. They're just spawning back ahead of the hive. <laughs> okay. We are still lacking some of our creatures. Like if we get like they're full. Okay. But we've got five and three. Okay, let's grab a few more of them. Check on these guys. You are done. Okay, I don't think you can have more than one. No, you can't have more than one person working on a a thing. Or more than one, you know, um, troop or unit working on a task. So you can't have two attacking the thing or, or harvesting, you can only have one. So I think in that instance we are out of jobs for these guys until we clear out this next area. Okay, we'll wait for two more two more units here. And then we'll send them through and we'll clean out this area because we still have I think there's still a couple of guys floating around up in here and there's a couple of guys here near the bridge again that's I only know this because I've played the level let's go collect up these things on the way in Okay, so if we go this way, we've got these guys. Yeah. 
we just swarm them with pure numbers more than um, <clears throat> more than strength and ability. Got a resource here we can harvest. And we've got some resources here we can harvest. It's actually dead. I don't... Yeah, there's nothing else up here. Okay. Just try and aggro a couple of them. Not all of them, but looks like we've got them all. Oh, we can do it. Again, numbers, right? We have lost a few. Let's get this guy. I don't know what that little haze thing was. Whether that was the bones. Oh yeah, same as the blood here where we were attacking them. Again, this is why I brought a worker with me, to be in the little group. We had to collect up bits and pieces. So as I said, we've got some food sources in here. So I'm going to bring my group over here. Should be far enough away at the moment. Yep, cool. Let's head back in here and grab you. Go and get this. And... Thought I had another one, just idling. You're idling. You need to actually go and heal. You're okay. You're working. Is that guy going to retreat? There he is, healing up. Nice. Now he can come and harvest that guy. I don't think these are anything. They kind of look like they should be. Is that all of them? You're done too. Let me get that guy for us. Alright. Let's get our group. Let's take these guys out. And cross the bridge. Kicked off the lava golem. Right. It's a weird looking snail. So, we've got to kill the ancient. It and <laughs> the kill it. So kill it now. We will have all of the answers. 
All right, what I'm going to do, we've got a little bit to do over here yet, but I'm going to come over here and go just get some things up and running. All right, group of people having a bit of a dance. Dance battles it. Yeah, there's, a, there's a little area over here. And this weird looking creature. Not sure if I'll beat this, but hopefully. Yeah, yeah we're doing alright. Maybe. Now we can get it. It'll be fine. That one's gonna go down. Got it. Alright, let's grab these things. That amulet. Oh, we lost our worker. Oh no, worker's here. Getting achievements left, right and centre. I got one for being a Scrooge then. Open this chest up please. Don't think there's anything else in this area. Don't see anything. Weapon. Amulet. Right, I'm going to send these guys back to the base to heal. That's not where I want to be. I want to be over here. Let's make four of them. <clears throat> we are getting close to population camp again. Uh, I think we're all right. We've got plenty of food. We've got plenty of minerals. You're done. No one is attacking that still. Goodness, I swear I sent someone over there for that, but whatever. Okay, how are we doing? One more of them. One more of them, that's our population limit. You guys come over here. We're gonna go and attack this big snail looking thing. <clears throat> and we should be good. Alright. Is that all of them? Excellent. Let's go. Rotate our view. These guys over here. And we'll get this if um piercing shots to passive ability apparently. Can't turn that on or anything, so it's passive, yeah. Hunter has a plus three armor pierce. Nice. Attack. Is that everyone? Should I bring everyone? Yeah? Cool. Uh oh. Let's move our group to here and then attack. Cool. That was nasty. I think it's better the first time I attacked it. <laughs> I really did. Can you get out of here? You can, we're in big trouble. Oh boy. You guys better heal up real quick. Because we're about to have visitors. Do you follow us all the way? No, he's chilling over there. Nice. Honestly, the first time I played through the level, I, I, I beat him first go, so... Um, yeah. Whoops. They're all healed. Yes. <laughs> Let's try that again. 
I don't know if I just got the sweet spot to to set up and attack him because um, the the falling rock damage thing there I didn't get um, hardly any of my people got or hardly any of my troops got um, affected by it. Let's go. I don't, I don't think he can come in here. Find out in a second. If we can long range him or something. Attack! Back off! He can come in. Move! Ah, we're gonna get him. We'll get him. Nice. All right, so there you go. There's there's a bit of a first look into Hive. Um, <clears throat> follow the links down below if you want to grab yourself a copy of it. Um, by all means, leave a leave a comment down below if you want to see me continue playing through the series, uh, through the game as a series. Um, yeah, by by all means, let me know your thoughts. Drop them down below, and um, hope you enjoyed this first look, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.